No mai hoki mai e te iwi koe a nei ngā wahine toru te kaumārima tau te whakake neke atu i te ara tuatahi ko mana wakaha, tuarua mana kōkiri, tua toru te manu au te parihaka PJs, kata kata, nicely chilled, tuturu and pataitai. And we have our commentator back, Hoturo Ke Hotu, no mai hoki mai. Ah, kia ora te iwi, that, that name, nicely chilled, sounds pretty good right now. I can tell you that uh, racetrack is pretty windy and uh, takes a bit out of you, but it's good to be back here on the lineup for this Master Women's W6500 semi-finals. These semi-finals uh, really put the tests on everybody because no one wants to give it up and everyone wants to get into that final. Yes, here is Te Manu Ote. While Hotu catches his breath a little bit and takes a little bit of water just to get nicely chilled, uh, we have a red flag here. And it looks like right out there in lane five or six, they're right on the line. But this race has started with one of the fastest qualifiers, Manawakaha Heimato Paddlers. They have been ones to watch throughout the whole of this competition. They've been working really hard. And here they are right now, Heimato Paddlers. They have a good start. Yes, David, I've been talking to a few of the Heimato Paddlers uh, uh, during the day. And uh, not only are they in the Masters division, but they're in the Opens division too. And I was asking them if they thought all these other extra races in a division outside their specialty was going to um, affect them and they seem pretty confident for the Masters race because they're out here in front at the moment from the start but uh, we'll see because I think they'll appear a bit later on in some other finals as well. Yes well you had just seen Kata Kata from Mitamitanga Ole Pacifica Vaalo but also Parihaka PJs from Parihaka Sports Club here they are right there in lane four watch out for them they have been doing really well throughout and this is the time where they need to push it and put it in to make sure that they get into those finals but they're in lane one Manawakaha Heimato Paddlers they're at the 250 mark they have come out they are at least one waka length ahead Manawakaha Heimato Paddlers look like second yep. coming in was Manakokiri but yep. there is a definite battle between Te Manuote and Parihaka PJs from Te Pauhiringa Wakaama Club and Parihaka Sports Club Incorporated respectively. It's great watching these teams that have been performing you know, in every in every race that they've entered, and uh, they still maintain their form. The timing of their paddles is is perfect, and they uh, extend their bottom arms out and get a nice big reach. The top hands drive down. They use their upper bodies to twist that and, and pull that paddle back through the water, so they don't uh, tire in the arm muscles anywhere at all. And kata kata here we have coming through from Mitamitanga Ole Pacifica. Katakata in lane five from Mitamitanga. They're really putting it in now, but it's here in lane one. Manawakaha, they are going to take out this, the Master Woman W6500, semi one of two. As you can see now, there is a definite race on for second, but first place, Manawakaha Heimato Paddlers. They will be in for the finals. Huge battle for second and third. It looks like lane two or lane four. Oh, it's too close to call for second place. Their place may have gone to lane five, Kata Kata, but second place was just too hard to call. We might just have to have a look at the replay. Yeah, I think that replay might show us that Mana Kōkiri may have just got in there. Easily first is lane one, Mana Wakaha. But out there, maybe in lane four, it's doing an awesome challenge, but I think it's going to be lane two. Right at the line is going to sneak place. in. And lane two was Mana Kōkiri from Kōkiri Taipatu Wakaama Club. Well, that was just too, that was too close to call. But here we have Mana Wakaha. That wasn't very hard to call. They took out this, the semi one for the 500 meter master woman W6. Um, they will be moving on to the finals and they will be hoping to be the fastest qualifier, Hotu. Well, yeah, they will be, but in, in other turns too, it might be good to uh, just get an easy time that gets you uh, further out there and puts a little bit less pressure on you, especially since they've been racing so hard through the day. They've already got a, a couple of gold medals and uh, no doubt that uh, they'll be trying to think what's the best way to conserve energy so that when they absolutely need it, they can do the damage. Yes, and no doubt they will be looking for this, the Master Woman W6500 gold medal as well. But we will be waiting for the next semi final to come on, the Master Woman uh, semi two of two, because there are quite a few teams coming up in that race as well. Yes, we're getting to the exciting, fun times of the regatta now.
e te iwi, kia mau tonu mai, ka huria ke tātou inaia nei kia rahia timu timu i te taha o te awa me tētahi o ngā kai hoi. Kiro te whainau, ko te nuingo ngā hoi ka kitea ki runga i te roto, e hea marama kē nei hei hanga. Engari kei tōku taha inaia nei tētahi i tangata e me ki ana, ka tai i e te mahi i tētahi hoi ki roto, engara e turi turi nui ho. Um, so, bro, it's, um, so what was your name, sir? Kia ora, parikura matahi. So, um, parikura, you were saying, telling me just before that um, it takes you only a few days to make paddles, whereas all the paddles that we see on the lake take a few months. So right. how did you come up about that? Uh, well, we come from a place called Marainui in Napier, and um, when it came to the nets, we couldn't really afford to buy brand new paddles, but we had heaps of wood. Um, so a couple of the bros never really got into making paddles, we never made paddles before, so we decided we'll make some paddles for this year's nets. Um, we started them last week. We had a, we got two teams, Cool Runnings and Hard and Up. Decided that we needed to uh, make 12 pedals, 10 paddling pedals, and two steering pedals. So we just took some um, some pedals that we had, and from from I, and we just looked at them, and then we just started making our pedals like that. Over two weeks, it took us about 48 hours. All up, we finished them yesterday. Um, we didn't get a chance to trial them out. We just thought we'd use the nets because we're not a top team. We just thought we used the nets as a as a trial to trial out our. Um, our blades, yeah. So the question is, what kind of wood do you use? You don't use pine, you don't use kauri. What kind of wood do we see here? Well, we had whānau members, they had a whole heap of rimu. And we use um, this white wood here, it's called Chinese polania. So it's very light and unlike balsa, it's, it's waterproof. So those are the only two, two, um, two wood that we use in all our paddles. Do you have some kind of school or such, such that stuff like that that um, can teach people how to make their own hoys? Well, because of this fella, came from England, decided to make these paddles and we had teachers at a high school. We decided that um, last year we were going to put our uh, kids through a bit of a wakaama project at school. And the first project was to make paddles and then from there it just started to grow. And the um, big question is, how are the paddles so far? Have they won you any races? Well, our golden, our golden master women's came third and they have won a bronze with one of our paddles that had been used. As for the rest of our paddles, the, 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 the passed the test, only one snap during the two days, so for followers who've never made paddles before, and just by eye, um, I think the old brother's done pretty good. Nā rei rei te iwi, koe nei e tahi o ngā hoi hau o e nei tau, me te te rō tātou, me he mea, ka e ke rātou, a haki rā nei. PJ Bakery, Marae Nui! Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yes, we've got our next race lining up, our Master Women semi-final two. There's only two semi-finals, so this is the last chance for some of these teams to make their way into the final. Last chance at reaching out to grab a gold medal or a silver or bronze. So there'll be a bit of desperation out there, a bit of um, determination and probably a few tears at the end of the race for those teams that didn't quite get there. You're right there, looking over at lane three, I think we have Waka Life Masters from Waikato Dragon Boat and Wakama. They will be getting ready and they will be pushing. It looks like they would have been uh, in the top six overall from the heats. They may have come second in uh, in the heats, but it looks like they're, they're pushing. There's been a few, uh, quite a few people turn up here this week. All of the crowds from all over the motu. That looks like Tūranga Waiwai Waka Sports out there uh, giving giving it all basically on the water and off the water for all of their teams and all of their whanau. Ai e te iwi a nei ranga tīma kei tēnei o ngā kō whiringa a whai tīnei e iwa ngā tīma. Fat Mamas, Ani Uwaru, te rau o te rangi, Main Pū Rotu Green, Team Tāmaki, Hayata, Waka Life Masters, Amazons, White Tākere on Fire. Yeah, there we have lane nine. This is uh, uh, one of the few times we run an extra lane in the races. Out there in lane nine, the Fat Mamas getting ready to try and get use this as an opportunity to get through to a finals berth and give themselves a chance at a gold medal. Uh, hopefully things will go good for them and they'll be in one of the top three. Normal races would be eight lanes. Eteiwi, Aniwaru there in lane eight. Normally we only have eight. Uh, there's only eight lanes in general, but we've gone with nine for this one. Fat Mamas, they're out there right on the end, but we have Te Rau o Te Rangi Toa Wakaama ready in lane seven. It's going to be a good race, Hotu. Yeah, it should be quite interesting. I'm, I'm keen to see how this uh, team in lane nine, lane nine goes. They, they might have got a slow uh, 
uh, qualification time, but um, you know, you, you never know. We've had a few good runs from the teams out in lane eight, so lane nine, lane nine might give us a bit of a surprise as well. But these teams now are starting to listen to the starters' orders and moving up, red flags ready and waiting. And we have a start here. A lot of these teams up in lane one, two, three, and four started behind the mark, but those ones right on the end, we're right on the button. Here in lane one, we have Waitakere on fire, Waitakere Outrigger Canoe Club. Lane two, Amazon's Horo Waka Hoi Club Incorporated. Lane three, Waka Life Masters, Waikato Dragon Boat and Wakama. Yes, Waitakere on fire. These Waitakere on fire ladies have been around a bit too. They've got a good challenge going on with the Horota crew here. Horota now have switched to their long, quiet stroke. Um, Waitakere is still striking a little bit faster than the Horota ladies. Uh, at the moment, it seems that they're running neck and neck. Lane five out there, Team Tamaki. Tamaki Outrigger Canoe has been one of the canoe clubs that's been uh, a force uh, in the world of Outrigger Canoeing. Wakaama for the last 20 years or so. And, um, you know, they're, they're not going to be denied as well. But there in lane one, Waitakere on fire. Waitakere Outrigger Canoe Club. They've got a bit of a faster pace than lane two, Horo Tawakahoi Amazons. But Horo Tawakahoi now at the 250 metre mark. They look like they're about two seats behind the group coming first, which is lane one, Waitakere on fire. And coming in third there was Waka Life Masters from Waikato Dragon Boat and Wakaama. And out there in lane eight and nine, Te Rawa Te Rangitoa, wa, oh, Aniwaru, sorry, from Aniwaru Kipurirua Wakaama Rōpū, and Fat Mamas also. But the current leaders, Waitakere on fire, Waitakere Outrigger Canoe Club. He yes, said they still maintain that fast pace, and I'm just wondering if that quicker pace that they're running at the moment is going to be enough to hold them. That uh, Sometimes when you keep a fast pace on, once you get to about the... Uh, 300 350 meter mark your muscles start to burn and the, the paddle feels ultimately heavy and then someone who's doing a slower longer stroke then you can easily sneak in and take it away yes horota wakahoi amazons have been doing the huti whārua quite the long stroke there but they are starting to pick it up it, it's going to be a race between lanes one and two lane one and two between waitakere on fire and amazons from horota wakahoi club who is it going to be Two's picked it up, and now they are picking it up. As you said, Hotu, it was, it was going to be hard to hold it there. And lane two has taken this. Lane two, Amazon's Horo Tawakahoi, and lane one, Waitakere on fire. And it's got a close one for third place, but it looked like it was lane three, Waka Life Masters, then Hayata from Heimato Peddlers. Great finish here, great finish. Horota, who was a little bit behind at the halfway mark, maintained that long, strong, powerful drive through the water and were able to just dig away and chip away at the lead that the Waitakere on fire team had using their fast hooty as they were cruising down the lake. Yes, and there you have it, lane two, wait. Oh, lane two, Amazon's Horo Tawakahoi. They are now into the final of the Master Women W6500. That was semi two of two. Let's see soon enough whether or not their time was fast enough for that. We will be back with more semi-final action at the Iwi. Kia mo tonu mai.